Hi, it's Jack Riccardi, and for just a minute, a lot of sports news today, right? Big weekend for setting up March Madness in the NITs. We got Greg Popovich setting the all-time NBA win record. We've got the Tom Brady unretirement or comeback or whatever you want to call it. And I thought it was interesting that right at the same time Tom Brady was announcing he wanted to return to the NFL, so was Colin Kaepernick. He tweeted out, for the past five years, I've been working out and staying ready in case an opportunity to play prevented, uh, presented itself. Man, do I miss throwing to professional root runners, said Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick. Didn't Colin Kaepernick make a Netflix uh, documentary in which he compared playing in the NFL to slavery? Colin! What's happening with you? You you want to play for a slavery organization? You miss playing in a slavery organization? You hope the opportunity comes up to return to slavery? Uh, uh, Colin, are you in there? Are you okay? Can somebody check on Colin? And what if he did come back? The only thing dumber than Colin Kaepernick is the general manager or the owner that signs up for this, right? Because he'll come back. He'll bitch, he'll complain, he'll not get what he wants, or he'll get what he wants and not like it, and probably leave again. You know, this guy didn't just burn his own bridge. He tried to redefine the bridge. He tried to redefine a profession that people make a lot of money in as slavery, and thus burned his own bridge back to that profession and insulted the notion of slavery, past and present. There are no slaves presently, and there never have been slaves in the past who enjoyed the privileges and remuneration of NFL players. Dude, you made a Netflix show comparing playing in the NFL to slavery, and now you're saying, I really miss playing in the NFL. That really happened. We'll talk about that and, of course, many other things between 4 and 7 on 550 and 1071 KTSA. Plus, our show is available on demand anytime on the Jack Riccardi page at KTSA.com.